You burn the leaves and breathe the smoke. Oh, can I use it? No! no. fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Yeah? 
Mondo once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Father, of... Father, please. It's okay. What is okay? You don't have to... Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but... It doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yes. So, what happened with the blacksmith? His daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know. But I would. Years we've overstayed our welcome in our time.
This one's all yours, brother. You know what? Never mind. Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit balance? Why was he locked up to begin with? Ah, hell's feral sentry. <laughs> Believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Gar, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. Is that fair? And... Indeed it is. Wow, big statue. <laughs> That's another raven sent to the Tree of the Dead. Perhaps we should check up on it, hmm? That's odd. The runes are dark. <laughs> How would the elves build a giant statue of Freyr? Didn't they just go back to fighting each other after he left? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together. Light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace. But perhaps it served as a monument, one that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. Didn't he have just, I don't know, 
cast a spell or something? Made things better permanently? There wasn't a spell or enchantment to leave behind. Freya's presence is what mattered. His very godhood is what brought life back to this dying land. Eventually, he had to choose. Vanaheim or Alfheim. Doesn't sound like a tough choice. Vanaheim was his home. It's never easy to walk away from those who need you. There's already light inside these crystals. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that.
serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. like we can read the inscription now as well. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freyr's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? What's it say, brother?
father. Do you think there will ever be peace in Alphon? Peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. But Mom helped you find peace, right? How are the elves supposed to change if no one shows them the way? Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alphine may not be peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. A key? A key. Must open something around here. We can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Specky and Spanner could use the company. We have kennels. I don't know. They feel pretty happy here. Alphine is their home. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. they capture Garmin in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured us somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the <laughs> gate line was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. Yell at me. You want for leaving. We thought we got accomplished. Did we make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine.
I met someone I liked. How would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I... no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's... doesn't matter. Done with the keyhole in it. That's weird. Looks like it fits a certain ominous hilt we found while searching for the Norns. Remember what I said, Kratos. Tread carefully.
me ever since we found these two, but I have a theory now. Perhaps our lovable resistance leader introduced Gulon to Alfheim a century ago. More gifts for the Dark Elves? That makes sense. taught the Dark Elves how to train Gulon to pull a sled? More likely he showed them how they could be trained to pull a plow. He is the god of the harvest after all. Seems they found new uses for the pups after Freya left and their fields went fallow. I guess sledding around is easier than flying during a sandstorm. Right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat. Yeah, Thor's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. <clears throat> no sign of the librarian. That? Well, she's hiding again. It matters not. The journal is ours. The work is done. when you asked about Viking. Drew? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, the Gilder likes Thru. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine.
Father's new spear. It's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulter brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the drop near drips out identical copies of itself. The Huldras presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So, what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No 
no one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How'd that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin, and if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. Don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. If the old swine still carried a grudge, you'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, <laughs> broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken.
Coleman Brown. Thickness in the air. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Hmm. <laughs> 